Hey folks, it's Mike, the Traveling Ham. Have you ever been using a radio like this 8 watt talk pod here and had the situation where you can hear everyone else but they can't hear you? Or maybe vice versa. We're going to talk today about CTCSS. What it is, what it does, and what it doesn't do. Next on the Traveling Ham. Okay folks, here's the deal. I'm at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. This is going to be a special one of the most intense trails. This is the operating station. That's a bear. Wow. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? That traveler has time. I just do things. This is a huge, beastly, bulging man. Plates were from Kansas. So what is CTCSS? Well, it's the Continuous Tone Code Squelch System. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. That doesn't mean anything either, does it? So imagine you're in an environment where a lot of people are using these radios. Maybe you're in a national park, maybe you're in Disney World, and you and your group are trying to communicate on these radios, but no matter what channel you go to, you end up running into other users. Wouldn't it be nice if you could cut all them out and only hear your group? That's what CTCSS does. I'll show you what I mean. So let's discuss what CTCSS actually does. Let's assume that this over here is radio A. This over here is radio B. Okay, radio A is going to transmit and it's going to create an FM signal that's going to go over here and be received by radio B. With no CTCSS set, this radio will hear radio A. Radio B will also hear every other radio in the area. If radio C here is also in the area operating on the same channel, they'll hear it as well. But what CTCSS tone does is this. Let's say we set a tone of 103.5 hertz. I think that's, a, that's an official tone. We set this radio to only receive signals that have a squelch tone within it of 103.5 hertz. This is what you call a sub-audible tone. Sub-audible, you can't hear it. We set radio A to transmit the same tone. So now, as this voice signal comes through, the part that you would actually hear, there's another tone in there that you can't hear also with the signal. And that's at, you guessed it, 103.5 hertz. This is your CTCSS tone. This is gonna unlock this radio. Now, what about user C up here? If radio C transmits on the same channel, it is not gonna be heard by channel B. It has been blocked because there is no sub audible tone coming with that signal. Radio B will only hear radio A. This can be really important. Let's say radio C is a 10 watt radio, more powerful, or it's closer. What can happen then is uh, your, your signal, this is an FM signal, okay? Frequency modulation, just like your FM radio stations. There's an effect on FM signals known as the capture effect. Radio B is only gonna receive the strongest signal. So if these two are going at the same time, A and C, this radio will hear C if the signal's more powerful. And this is a 10 watt radio. Maybe it's closer. If that's a stronger signal, you're gonna hear the wrong one. So CTCSS can block that signal so you can hear the weaker signal coming from radio A. Now let's discuss what CTCSS is not. Okay, still have radio A, still have radio B, and let's still have Radio C. Okay, Radio C, this is our opponent. This is a bad guy. We do not want him to hear our signal. Oh, no problem, we'll use a privacy tone. Because when we buy FRS or GMRS radios, sometimes they're sold with privacy tones, which is actually a CTCSS tone and is an outright lie. So if these two radios are having a two-way conversation and they think that this is a privacy, this is a private conversation because there's also sub-audible tones going through there to unlock radios. We'll keep it at 103.5 hertz. No problem, this is private now. 
we don't hear Radio C, so we assume they can't hear us. Not the case. If Radio C has no CTCS tone set on the receive, Radio C will hear all transmissions on that channel. They will hear everything. You are only hearing each other. They will hear you. And if there's a Radio D involved, Radio C and D can talk to each other on open channel and make fun of what you're saying and you won't even hear them. You won't even be aware. They have more privacy than you do. Okay, let's do a little demonstration here. Let's assume these green guys are good guys. This is us, you and me. The black radios are the bad guys. These are our opponents that we don't want to hear our signal. No problem, we'll just use CTCSS tones. Okay, I have set all four radios on channel 12. I have set CTCSS tones on these two radios for 67 hertz. You do that by going to the menu, menu. and that is selection number seven. And you see I have it set there for 67 hertz. This radio, you can see has received CTCS set at 67 hertz. Okay, so I'm going to take this radio and I'm gonna push the button and transmit. Now I don't have to speak to transmit because again, these are FM radios and an FM signal has the full power to it whether someone's speaking or not. So all I have to do is push the button and whichever radios are able to receive will receive. Again, only these two have CTCS tones set. So I'm gonna put this behind my back and I'm gonna press the button. You will notice all three radios received the signal. Even these two that did not have the secret code entered on their radio. Why? Because these radios have been told to receive all signals. So regardless of whether or not there's a CTCSS tone or not, these radios will pick up the signal. Okay, let's try something else. Now I'm gonna transmit with this radio. Still the same setup. All four radios are on channel 12 and the two green radios have CTCSS tones. We're gonna transmit on this radio. What do you think's gonna happen? Let's see. These two radios actually have more privacy than these two radios. Now, the advantage here is your, these two radios are not encumbered by hearing all the chatter by these two radios. So there is an advantage, but it is not privacy. Now, the way this issue normally manifests itself for normal people is that a group of you, your kids, your family, your friends, someone's gonna be operating on a radio and they can hear everyone else, but no one can hear them, or maybe vice versa. And that's because somehow a CTCSS setting got turned on on their radio, and normally you just wanna turn it off. For most radio operations, you won't wanna have that on. But if you do use it, you need to understand what it actually does.